I, it, he helped Dallas win a title it, two years ago, it, or three years ago, or four four years ago. Sorry. And if, if only to Should give LeBron James a break for two minutes. Yes. I mean, yeah. anything. Put him in there so fucking Deli can take a drink. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Everyone's this, dehydrating so out here. It's crazy. Coffee. Stephen Curry dehydrated in the last game. Did he? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Grab well, some yeah, Gatorade, right. you idiot. You know what? LeBron hasn't cramped yet, and he's working harder than everybody else. He, he, he did cramp. Has. I think he did cramp. Hey, he worked through it. That's, that's impressive to work through a cramp. He so. also has a moon-shaped cut on his head. <laughs> 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 I love that he hits that camera. This is where Voldemort tried to kill me. Yeah, he, has, he hits that camera lens, and he literally has half a circle on his mm-hmm. head. This is for Mother Russia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did you see, uh, or did you hear the audio? I don't know if you watched it live when that happened to hear the audio of the security LeBron guard sitting on the ground. Oh, somebody's yeah. talking to him and LeBron goes, yeah, it is your fault. Yelling no, no. at somebody <laughs> that was like pushing him into the camera. That was the security guard. The security guard. If you, if you watch it, he's standing up and the camera guy says something to him and you can't see the camera guy. He's off screen, but the security guards clearly in picture. And he goes, no, that is your fault. And he says something back to him and he goes, no, you're a fucking asshole. That's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. ABC was a little slow on the delay button because oh, that slow. got passed. Talking about slow on the delay button. How about LeBron's cock all over Twitter? What? Well, I was I was okay. ABC did not pull away when he was adjusting his pants. You cannot you see, see his cock. You can see unless his cock. you slow it down. I think so that's much wishful thinking on your part. There, <laughs> yeah. It was a sh- it was a shower. That's Slut all I can cock. say. That was uh, you're thinking of just a dream you had. Yeah. Oh, wet dream. It was all a dream. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, I. So, anyways, in summary, I don't know who should get the MVP award. That's what I have to say. Shouldn't that then know. say I LeBron? It, give it to LeBron just for pulling that Ricky Bobby quote in the press conference. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm the best there is. That's not the question. That's not what we asked. <laughs> I I have another clip here. WWE Raw is in Cleveland tonight. Oh, and Seth Rollins was cutting a promo on uh, Johnny Manziel and LeBron James. Johnny idiot face over there is never going to bring you a title. <laughs> LeBron James ain't bringing a title back to Cleveland. This is the only championship you should be celebrating. <laughs> so soak it up. Oh. You sure said suck it. Fuck, I love Seth Rollins, man. That guy's good. He's so good as a heel. That hurts. You know, uh, <laughs> Cleveland, everybody's talking about it or has been talking about how Cleveland is the city who's gone the longest since having a, pr- a championship in one of the four major sports. I said last year when LeBron first announced that he was coming back to the Cavs, I was talking to some of my buddies, and, you know, uh, 2016, they're having either the Republican or Democratic National Convention Ugh. at Quicken Loans Arena in June Ugh, in I'm Cleveland. Sorry. I'm sorry, Phil. So the so the Cavs could be playing in the finals and playing their games like in Columbus or something at, at the shot or so, at another arena because Quicken Loans is taken up, and they could win the championship and not even win it in Cleveland. <laughs> so wait, they would divert the Cavs over the stupid uh, yeah, right? Republican National or Democratic National Convention? That tells you they how have, much money that they have a now. contract. I mean, they signed a contract with them to give them the arena for like two weeks in June. Oh my God! That's Should hilarious. do a holdout. <laughs> was this was this before LeBron signed with the Cleveland? Yeah, it was way. It was okay. way. This was like oh, four years. Okay, in smart. Yeah. Dan Gilbert was thinking ahead and didn't realize he was going to get LeBron again. Yeah, yeah, it was totally unexpected. And now they're like, oh my God, you got to be kidding me. Can Dan Gilbert do anything right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, Apparently anything. not. He's going he to hire Mike Brown just the first overall pick, and that's about it. Yeah. He's going to hire Mike Brown that year just to sabotage the team. Yeah, but even then, he'll, he'll, train the, he'll trade the number one pick for Kevin Love. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. Oh, my God. I mean, really, I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't they ra- rather prefer at this point Andrew Wiggins? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I mean, said all along yeah. they should have kept Wiggins. I hated the Kevin Love trade. Exactly. That's why I kind of thought. I would think like after LeBron, you get like the next LeBron almost or something. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the next best player. To but play take, take, yeah. away hind- have- take away hindsight, this series would have been so much more interesting mm-hmm. with Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving out there. Kevin Love hasn't done shit. Oh, yeah. But he would have been on the perimeter and it would have been a nice little spread. Then you wouldn't have to play the small ball game with, with Golden State. You could keep Mozgov out there, have Kevin Love on the perimeter. It would have been a lot better series uh, and much more compelling. I think I'd even rather... I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Go for it, Phil. Even, even, if, uh, even if they didn't trade for Love and Irving was still hurt, you'd still have yeah. Wiggins and and 
James out there. Yeah. That's true. That would have been a nice. They have yeah. somebody be- besides Mike Miller to go to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can imagine like Irving coming down a fast break with Wiggins and LeBron on either side, just like, oh man, what are you gonna do? You know, Dude, you got- that that team would have been born to run, man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You know, you got troubles when your second scoring option is uh, Tristan Thompson. No, <laughs> he he was scoring yesterday. Though. I know he was scoring. <laughs> Good old bricks for hands, Thompson. <laughs> it was it was ugly. It was ugly, but it was getting in the basket yesterday. So, oh man, it was ugly as shit. There was one where he like ran towards the basket and was underneath it and had to like jump outwards to dunk it, but he made it. So yeah, we're good. as as much as I hate that love trade, he does. It does hurt not having him in there because he does. Like you said, he can stand out at the three point line, yeah. and you got to guard him with somebody because he can knock it down. So it really opens up the lane for LeBron and Kyrie or LeBron and. Del of a Dova to drive or whatever. Deli. <laughs> just, just call him Deli. Well, yeah. Deli. Yeah. Oh, God. I can't stand that guy. <laughs> he is. Yeah, I don't like him either. Two things. First of all, he is, and this this isn't such a problem, like the dirtiest player on the floor. And that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. That's that's like a throwback to the 80s. Mm-hmm. But he is also such a bitch. Yeah. At the well, same, like, you can't do the same to him. He's basically new Sasha. <laughs> I mean, yes, uh, yes. Booyah, chitch. He's a little bitch, and he gets under your your nerves a little bit. Uh-huh. So I mean, but worse than that, you know, I don't watch LeBron play real close, except for in the playoffs and finals. Because why the fuck would I watch a Cavs game? <laughs> but <laughs> LeBron being forced <laughs> to LeBron watch, isn't enough. <laughs> yeah, being forced to watch the LeBron so closely, it's refreshing. It's refreshing my memory on how big of a fucking whiner he is. And he makes Kobe Bryant look like a happy-go-lucky guy. That's not true. Yes, it is. No, no, no. I see him re- to go to the referees a lot less. He turns more to his teammates what? like, what the fuck Whoa. is going on? Le- Kobe would get in the ref's ear all fucking game long. Every LeBron time. does not do that. I'm Co- sorry. I watch these games. LeBron does not get in their Co- You game. are sorry. Every time <laughs> LeBron doesn't get what he wants, they cut to his Because face. he was fucking hat. <laughs> Hold this on. guy actually gets it and doesn't get the call. <laughs> Every time he Greg doesn't get what one. he wants, really? thank you, Phil, you cut to his face, and whether he says it to the ref or not, you cut to his face, and he shit himself, and he has that stupid, whiny look on his uh, face, the same one he had when he found out Delonte West fucked his oh, mom God. in the ass. Here we go. I knew that was going to make an yeah. appearance. It, it, like I said before, he's I like LeBron, but mm-hmm. he's so hard to root for because he just has like this instant posture that he goes into when he misses a shot he they throws his hands out and he looks oh, yeah. at the ref like seriously yeah. you're not gonna no come matter it's never what? his fault never his and fault. it's not it's not like a prolonged whining like kobe a yes, little bit that's but what it's, I just, by it. yes. it's just after i mean he does it after every it's the same uh, he throws his hands out and shrugs his shoulders like a little kid yeah but i would say i, I think it's only worse like how you would say with kobe because kobe's older and uh, I still think a little as bitch. the whining kind of went, like the refs stopped listening. And I think the same thing is going to be happening with LeBron pretty soon where like yeah. the more he whines, the less the refs are going to listen. He's going to have to whine more. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be on a Kobe level at some point. It's going to get to Eldon Campbell level. <laughs> oh, like, oh, well, did you hear uh, Joey Crawford screaming at him in game four? No. Yeah, I don't. Eh, maybe it wasn't Help LeBron. Me up. Remember, somebody was, in, <laughs> somebody was in Crawford's ear crying about a call. And Crawford goes, shut up. I don't want to hear it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I do remember the audio that. On the camera. I don't think that was LeBron, was it? I can't remember if it was LeBron can't or not. Re- I can't imagine. It's probably it Draymond just, Green. <laughs> no, it was somebody on the cast. Oh, okay. Just probability. I mean, the odds were that it was LeBron, but yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, he is a whiny bitch. And but, I wish they would stop cutting to his face every time he misses a shot because I'm tired of seeing that I'm going to cry look on his face. It's ridiculous. Very annoying. But we can all agree Tim Duncan's the worst. No, Tim Duncan's a smart man. He says Joey Crawford cannot be at my games. <laughs> but then he smart. was. He do- was at a He is nowadays. Year. For yeah. a while, Joey Crawford would cannot but ref his games. Tim Duncan looks like he's going to like cry. He like hunches over. Like, what? What did I do? Yeah, he does act like he never committed a foul right. in his life. Right. In but fairness, you know, Joey Crawford is a terrible <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And in fairness to, to LeBron James, he's been hacked so many times in this series and not got a call because what? He, can, he can play through it. There was a, a point in Game Three where he won that game for where them, he got sneezed on. But he was he, in the fourth quarter and overtime. He oh. was getting, or it was second game, game second game. He was yeah. getting hit all over the place, yeah, not getting any game, call. Yeah, I think it was Game Three, Mike. Right when uh, at the end of the game, it was a tie game, and LeBron drove, mm. he got drove nailed. to the basket for the game-winning basket, and got 
hacked bad by Iguodala. Yeah, Igu- both arms were hit. Well, you know, that was just kind of payback for the chicken winging that LeBron's uh, been giving Iguodala yeah, the entire series. fucking yeah. series. Yeah. It's ridiculous. not his fault Iguodala can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I can't stand it. And I feel like the refs, first of all, the refs in this series, and maybe this is just me being a, a fucking whiner, but the refs in this series have been pretty bad. But, now, yes. but consistently to, bad. Consistently bad. The, a to, lot of no calls. A to lot their of credit, no they've ha- they've let a lot of stuff go. But I feel like mm. the stuff they call are all yes. makeup calls. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, Be- that's what I can't say. Because on. LeBron will go down and Iguodala will slap his wrist real hard or he'll accidentally smack his face and they won't call it. Oh, we missed ne- that. Sorry, my bad. Next yeah. play down, Draymond Green will go straight up with it and all of a sudden it's a foul. Exactly. It's like, what the fuck just happened? That's what I don't like. It's like, if you're not going to call a game and it's going to be a man's game, like, let's yeah. make it a man's game. Let's I'm okay with the man's game, but let's keep yeah. it consistent. That's what I want to no say. No more makeup calls. Just mm-hmm. call it when it happens or don't call it at all. I agree. Yeah, Thank let's you. make let's make this a piston series. And it's bullshit at the beginning of game five where they got called for illegal defense. You gonna let this be a man's game and call them for illegal defense? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck yeah. are you doing out when there? When was the last time we heard an illegal defensive call? In exactly, finals. especially in the finals. Yeah, you know they let a lot of uh, traveling <laughs> get unnoticed. Though. Yeah, every time LeBron gets the ball, yeah, in the, ball the, well, oh, the the hop step was a Shaq thing. So he's he's racking up. You could think of you could think three titles in a row for a hop step with Shaq. That's so. a that's the yeah, thing they, they don't. They don't call the foul when LeBron gets hacked when he goes to the rim, but they give him four steps every time he. Yeah, exactly. ball, so. and Mozgov gets a little bit yeah, of an extra pivot. Yeah, oh yeah, I just watch will take one away, like in game one. When LeBron gets the ball, he'll pivot and then change his pivot foot and pivot, and then he'll drive and hey, then take an extra step. And he's just testing the ref. Yeah. What are you going to call tonight? It's yeah. true. I'll yeah. take it. Ref failed. How many steps can I take before you call it? Yeah, 17. <laughs> I saw one last night in game five where LeBron does his little like pro hop where he hops to the stop, <laughs> and then he hopped again, yeah. took two hops, <laughs> and then passed the ball, and no one called shit. And I just oh I just started laughing. I just started laughing because only LeBron would get away. Even Kobe would not get away with that. Shaq would. Shaq Shaq did the hop step a lot, a lot. Well, he's so big, it's so difficult. To, like, uh, was he hopping, games? or was that just like a giant step? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. They, they give LeBron a lot. Sometimes they I do. think he could yeah. go in for a layup from like half court and pick the ball up, and they wouldn't call travel. He just carry it in from half court. <laughs> they probably give him a three-point foul, too. <laughs> yeah, probably. But he was under the basket, still a three-pointer. Yeah. I feel like they did the same thing with Carl Malone back in the day, too, though, because he would get hacked a lot, and they'd make up for it by letting him do well, it's funny some, how, like, some of the like, dirty stuff later in the game. Like when a team gets good, how they like change the calls. I'm <laughs> sure uh, Phil could notice this from last year, like the calls that the Cavs are getting all of a sudden. Like I'm sure there's there's got to be a difference because I noticed it when we got Shaq in, like, you know, 96 or whatever. It was just like this, like, oh, wow, we're getting that call now? Like, oh, okay. like where the hell was that <laughs> oh, last yeah. year? It was – it's definitely changed, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't think it's been the same in the finals. I just think the finals have been bad all around. I mean, I've noticed mm-hmm. calls, you know, that should have been called on the Cavs. And, I mean, both ways, looking at it from an unbiased perspective, it's just been a terribly officiated series. Yes, I agree. It, it really has gone poorly in both directions. But I am tired of LeBron looking like he just got shit on <laughs> every time he misses the bucket. That's all. I agree with that. He does. Yes, but he doesn't like like Phil said. It's not prolonged. It's not prolonged bitching. For the most part, it is not. I'll right. give you that much. What do you guys think about the brand of basketball we're getting? Like as far as like like it seems like like the D'Antoni way of playing basketball, small ball is kind of <laughs> shoot kinda, first, ask questions yeah, later. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, yeah, Antoni I, way of playing. Shoot first, I draw hate plans later. Six foot seven centers. Right. It's weird. Get the big guys out there. Let them bang, man. Yeah. Hey, Run well, as hard and long as you can thing. till you get hurt. Yeah, because I was the thinking about win. that. when uh, <laughs> yeah. Play you as many minutes as we can until you, <laughs> you blow your Achilles. I had a conversation with someone about that where it's like, you remember when Shaq was beating everyone up? They said, okay, like, we got to change the rules and stop this. And now this is the brand of basketball we're getting. It's like, okay, when do we say enough is enough? We got to change the rules again. You know what it's I mean? for a change. Yeah. yeah. Well, Depends on who's playing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's only because Golden State's in the finals. Golden mm-hmm. State has to go small because – Bo gets their biggest guy, and mm. if he can't guard Mozgov, they've got nobody else. But I almost kind of feel like the NBA kind of like adapted a little bit. Like this is the brand of basketball we're getting because this is the you know the rules that we have in place now. Right. What finals have we seen that has been this three point heavy? Before? Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's brilliant three point shooting. 
I don't know well, about it's that. Steph, it's because Steph Curry is such a trendsetter and amazing three-point shooter. Like, that step back is so uh, quick, and he hits that three so easily that you kind of have to keep pace by giving the ball to J.R. Smith and letting him lob threes all day. Mm-hmm. Phil? Um, well, what I was going to say kind of goes back to Dan's point about the brand, and I think it's more less to do with the rule changes. I mean, it has some effect, but I think it's more about coaching. Like, you know, Golden State clearly. 